Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another video. And uh, another update with some other um, stuff, um, like with some more mangas and um, posters and stuff. So I, and I, I got and a couple more of other things as well. But first of all, uh, update on more on the mangas. So um, a while a while back, I I saw well this show was made for Netflix, so that's the only way you can watch it. But um, afterwards, I wanted to get the manga series, and I know um, there's there's be a second season coming out soon, so which I'm looking forward to seeing. So, but um, here, getting of the of the manga series, what you say it's the you say it's the Japanese version of of Zootopia, you can say. So, but I hear of the first three of B Stars. So you have volume one here. Volume two, and then of volume three, at which, of course, um, B Stars is our our lead character uh, named Legoshi, which, of course, he was, of course, the name is named after Bella Lugosi, but that was a cool reference, named after the original Dracula, Bella Lugosi. But yeah, this is the first. Though this, this is the first three, which of course, as in the story, is that you know our our lead guy Lego uh, Le Legoshi, who's a wolf, and throughout the series, he has starts having his feelings, having feelings for a rabbit. What was um named Haru? Because you know those names between carnivores and herbivores, so. He actually has sort of has feelings for uh, Haru, so that's been one of the logistics of the uh, the uh, stories of of B Star. So, so that's the first three volumes. I'll get the other ones whenever I can. And then next is um down here, which now I got, so I can ha so I can hang up though. But of course, you've seen. Well, it was on this side. It's, it's on this side here. All my videos, my well, was on this side of the wall. I posted it's on this side here. But uh, now I got the uh, tw uh, 2000, 2021 calendar of Sailor Moon. Because, like I said, always been a fan, always always loved the show. So, which um I have I have a second copy already because you know I keep one. To hang up on the wall, and the second one for the collection, so you know, unopened. But yeah, so this is a second copy, so I could have this. It's keep having this just for the sake of the collection. Add to my Sailor Moon collection, you say? <sighs> yeah. If I would, if I if I the other one after I would hang up, I'll probably still hang up on this wall. So. Even though my, even though here it's on a different, here it's on a different angle though, but I'll still have the count, cal the calendar hang up on this side here. But yeah, this is a 2021 uh, uh, Sailor Moon calendar. Then here with the po the poster I got here, which um o over time now it's been it's been two years since now this this film since this film came out so I still say it's an uh. Over time now, it's two years later, I still think it's an average, okay movie, considering that the character I liked uh, growing up, you know, especially from the from the cartoon and the video games, and uh, which I have, I do have the the six part series though, which that's part of the which is part of this uh, the, those comics is uh, the movie is based on that six part comic uh, series, and that is of Venom. Which I needed to frame, so but yeah, from the 2018 film of Venom, starring Tom Hardy, it's Eddie Brock. Yeah, I say it's, it's an average, okay movie now. So, like I said, I was a fan, a fan of the character of Venom, you know, from the video game of the Spider-Man Nintendo 64 game I enjoyed, and then, then as well in the cartoon series, the Spider-Man animated series. <sighs> oh, although I will say. I do like this bed. Uh, the, the Venom character is, I think, is used better than Spider-Man, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Three, which I, which we all know that 
that he didn't like and all that, and was just shoehorned in the last second. So <laughs> I can say this: I definitely like. I do. I definitely like this better than Spider Man Three. Okay, because like, I hate Spider Man Three. But I can definitely say I like that. I do like this a lot better than Spider Man Three because there's some positives I can I can't say about this film. So yeah, but that's the poster of Venom. So I got that, and I got two uh, other ones, um, which I have framed, which are autographs, which I, I finally man, I finally managed to frame. Yeah, because I had, I, I had the, I had these autographs for over a year now because I never got, and I just never got a chance to frame them. So this is one, this is the time, this is the, these are autographs I had from when I went to uh, Fanime. And if you wonder what Fanime is, it's a convention that's specifically for anime. If anyone does not know, though, yeah. So, um, yeah, my girlfriend goes there all the time, and um, and and this was obviously one of the first times I've been to a fan because all the times I never got a chance to. So, but I finally have had a chance to, um, which I'll have to find and post a video of um, one of the voice actors who voices in the animes, um, especially this one, which I enjoy. I'll have to, I'll have to post that video up though when I find the picture again. But I got two. I got two autographs from the same voice actor because because she voiced the character I, I liked in the show. So, and of course I um, two autographs of of we got a tall one right here and I got a right here framed right here. So I got two framed autographs here, and um, uh, uh, autographs of from voice actor Jade uh, Saxton. Now Jade Saxton, um, she. Voices a lot of anime characters, um, but for me, um, she she voiced in a character, um, or the characters was in Haganai. Like I don't have too many, um, I don't have too many friends, but um, but I mostly remember know she voiced. Um, remember, remember voicing uh, Kaneko from High School DxD, and of course, High School DxD was the poster I have here on my other on my other wall, if you if you recall. Just really quick showing. Right there. High school DXD right there. And where we um with Jay Sex is most known uh, in that series voicing Kaneko. Right down there. So I have one other so I finally I had these over, over a year, but I finally managed to fr uh, to frame these. So so yeah, so yeah, Jay Saxton voiced uh, Kaneko, who was supposed like like, um, she, in Rhea Grimry's uh, chess piece, uh, her, you know, it, how their how their uh, her servers are ranked by chess pieces. Kaneko is ranked as the rook, because she has like certain uh, strength to her, you know, especially for when it comes to using her fists, which I, which I had a fight, which I was a fight mode when. Uh, she caught uh, Issei and two, his two other friends in the girls' locker room. She goes and punches out the locker door out, and his two guys and is like, "Oh, what's up, Kaneko? Fancy meeting you here. About to wish you had." And she goes and beats the crap out of him. <laughs> so yeah, they had the one autograph right here, and then the other autograph, um, which is a little more <laughs> explicit. Well, I can say explicit, but. Yeah, but this is also another one's autograph right here. So, got that one right there, and then, then this one right here. There. But and that's basically be uh, it right now. So, so more on the on the manga the manga series. So the first three volumes of. B stars, and then the, so the my two autographs of I finally my finally framed autographs of uh, the character Conoco by voiced by Jade Saxton, which is nice to have. Which I finally managed to frame. Then the uh, twenty twenty one Sailor Moon calendar, and then the poster of uh, Venom. So that's basically it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you later.